cold, this one. There's a bright and warm surrounding to it, but you can kind of see that it's just... <laughs> Lonely. I love oil paintings myself, but I just couldn't... <laughs> I see. Um, so what is it you do, miss? <laughs> miss Cornwall, you're uh, an illustrator and life painter. Who'd have thought it, eh? And you are? Edward Campbell. Um, you can just call me Eddie for short. Didn't realise I was in the presence of a maestro? <laughs> um. <laughs> well, uh. <laughs> Relax, I'm just pulling your chain. Your work's impressive, but I can't seem to find much of it. Are you with the uni or are you freelance? I'm freelance, yes. Um, yeah, let me get you my. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> With the elegance of Bond. So, uh, how long did it take you to get here, Tara? Um, it took me Tara Cornwall. And like yeah. that, my life was flipped entirely onto its head. Hello? Let me guess. This is Edward? No, sorry, Eddie, as you like to be called. Indeed. I'm glad you remembered. <laughs> we only met a few hours ago. Well, sometimes hours can feel like days. <laughs> oh, you didn't mention you were into philosophy. I, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. No, oh, it's just you said something very philosophical. She always found a way of catching me out. I would hate myself for being nervous, but she had the charm to make any man crumble. Anyways, you never told me what your style was. Oh, didn't I? Um, where do I start? With the most meaningful? Acrylic crosses. They... I've been doing them for over four years now, and they allow me to escape reality, you see. Fascinating. Are you trying to escape anything in your reality? Nothing. Nothing in particular. Are you? Nope. I have everything I want right in front of me. And what is that? <laughs> a paintbrush and a canvas. What more could I want? I don't even have to ask what you're up to, do I? Nope. I'm stuck in a routine. I'm pretty predictable once you get to know me. Well, you're speaking to the right person. I've been stuck in the same routine for over three years now. <laughs> you must do something outside of art. Music. But I, that ended pretty quick as I realised that my voice didn't sound as, as good on the mic as it did in the shower. <laughs> It had been one phone call, and already I'd felt a connection between us. There was only one thing left for me to do. Tara, I... I was wondering if, um... Uh, tomorrow, if, if you'd like to meet, or, you know, the day after tomorrow, or the day after that, uh, whenever. Sure. Let me check. I can do 1.30 tomorrow? Is 1.30 okay with you? Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, that's fine, um... Yeah, I'll see you then. Eddie, you haven't said where we're going to meet. Excuse me. Uh, we'll meet at the, the Kaya Club. Okay, sounds good. Bye. 
I was sitting at the same table for over half an hour, but in a way I was thankful that she was late. This gave me time to prepare for what I was going to say to her. My heart was pounding every time the minutes changed. I didn't want to mess this up. Not today, not any day. Hey, Eddie, sorry I'm late. I had to look in my suitcase. It's okay, don't worry, I, I understand. I've been there many times before. No, I shouldn't be this late, it's rude. It's fine. Um, no, I'm glad you're here. Do I look bothered to you, honestly? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Let's just say I, I need a time to look around and uh, collect my thoughts. Typical artist. No, I, I know this place pretty well. Are you sure? You didn't spend hours checking out for the most aesthetically oh, pleasing cafe I, I, and... I see what you're doing. Because I said I was in a, a constant routine. Everything think, every... needs to be routine. Yeah. Well, I, at least I know you're listening. <laughs> Uh, the thing I value most is someone who takes time to actually listen to what you have to say. Tara Cornwall was that type of girl. A girl you can speak to for hours. We spent all afternoon talking and learning about each other. It was clear to me that her life was much more interesting than mine. I wanted to know more. Hey, um, Tara, I was um, wondering if, you know, you wanted to collaborate on something. Uh, something that could benefit us both, um, artistically, of course. Um, and it... I'll hold on to that phone, Tara. I'll hold on to that phone. It has to be bold. Everything has to be, has to be bold. Okay, what's this? Precise with your timing? I do try. Uh, not too hard, though. <laughs> I was gonna say. I um, noticed you've done something different with your hair today. You must pay close attention because I only conditioned it. Well, artists never miss the finest detail in a piece of art. <laughs> That's a good excuse. Am I right in saying that you're calling me a work of art? I am. Um, yeah, you could say that. <laughs> I'll take the compliment. Tara, I wanted to ask you something. Feel free. I was... I really <sighs> want to have the chance to um, collaborate with you. I think it would be um, beneficial for us both if we um, work together. Why do you sound so nervous asking me that? Sure. Sounds great. 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 Um, when are you free next? Um... Oh, look. Eddie... I'm gonna have to go, an uh, email's come through and I've gotta do this work straight away, okay? I'm really sorry. Oh, yeah, okay, um, yeah, of course, focus on that. Okay, I'll see you soon, okay? Goodbye. <clears throat> I sat from 6.30 p.m. to 8.23 p.m preparing myself. The need to talk to her was overwhelming me. I knew this wasn't right. I hoped that she would call me first, but I came to learn that the chances of that were minimal. I waited, and I waited. What seemed like days was actually just hours. Something needed to happen at 8.23 p.m. So, I gave in. Hey, Tara. 
Sorry if I disturbed you. Are you busy? Mm, no, I'm fine. Good to hear. How did things go with that email? Which one? The one you received in the last phone call we had. The reason you ended the call. Oh yeah, that one. It went well. I'm pleased to hear that. Honestly, I am. You work hard enough. That is very true. Yeah. So, when are you next free to meet? Honestly, I will need to get back to you on that one. Is that okay? I understand. We all have work to do, eh? We do indeed. I was drained from the lack of interest. I knew anything I said wouldn't interest her. So what was left for me to do but end our desperate conversation? In fact, um, I have work to be doing myself. I'll, I'll leave you be. Okay, Eddie. Have a great evening. Enjoy your work. You too. Good night. Good night. At this stage, I wasn't doing myself any favours. I was standing right here at the trigger of all my dismay. To make matters worse, the days never seemed to go by. They'd instead stutter in place like a worn-out CD. You lay your head down for five minutes and only two go by. You avert your sight from a clock and time hits a standstill. You hit pause instead of meaning to hit fast forward. My fixation towards Tara had taken an agonizing grip on my life. At this point, she was all that was in my mind anymore. I had done everything I could to hammer all these thoughts of her out of my mind. But there I was again, walking down the same paths, watching these drunk fools and sluts enjoy their lives. Wasting away precious seconds by feeding themselves the same shit every other night. Doing nothing practical or meaningful and laughing as their futures slowly disappear with each gulp and puff. They are slaves to the incessant electronic beats and engineered musicians. I refuse to be the receiver of this bullshit lifestyle. They're dependent on the forever changing trends, electronic magazines that rule over their psyche. I will not let this happen to me. Or to her. Hey, Tara, it's, it's Eddie. Hello, Eddie. So, uh, how are you doing? You know, I was hoping you were doing well. I'm fine, just busy is all. I was, um, wondering maybe at some stage this week you could, um, we could meet up again. Eddie, I won't be able to catch up with you, I'm afraid. I'm just a bit busy at the moment. That's okay. Right, well, I've got to go I had reached my wit's end. I wasn't ready to take any more bullshit. I was ready to generate power, turn fire into steam. It was time for my final piece to come to life. With this, my full potential can be realized. It was my last shot. This was it. My magnum opus, my grand finale, and she was to realize it. 
The frustration had boiled over and its contents had exploded outwards. I couldn't keep my audience waiting any longer. Hello? Who am I speaking to? Hello, Tara. It's, it's Eddie. I've come here to... Um... Eddie, Jesus. What time is it? Um, I'm sorry for waking you, but I... I really need to talk. Oh, shit, what happened? Hang on, I'll buzz you through. I had to let it be known. I was unable to take control of myself and let it destroy me. My routine, my work ethic, Everything had been torn into shreds. A bomb had gone off in the center of my mind and taken down everything with it. What had felt like months of frustration and turmoil had realistically barely been a couple of weeks. I didn't want to believe it until I read over the dates on my sketches. She knows now, and she understands. I just don't see you in the same way, okay? I think you should get some help and just look after yourself, okay? I'm gonna go now. Yeah. No, you're never gonna believe this. Right, he turned up at my house. Yeah. I don't know what to do. Well, I told him, politely. Well, I think it was politely. Hmm. Maybe. From this point, I knew that we could never be together. But that was okay. 